What's going on, Cancers? It's your boy, Prado G, and I'm back at it again with a tarot reading for, I don't know why I always say it like that, tarot reading for our beautiful sign. You know, I'm a Cancer too. Gang, 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 gang. Let's stop. <laughs> All right, let's see what our lucky number is. What's the lucky number for Cancer? This is a general reading. So everything might not resonate. And whatever resonates with you, take it leave whatever doesn't resonate for another cancer because like i said it's a general message okay what jumped out for us the six. Oh, shout out to the june cancers the june babies you already should know what to do or if your birthday was is on uh july 6th i'm pretty sure i know somebody with a birthday that's july 6th but yeah Six is the lucky number, guys, and green is showing up. It's looking like money. It's looking like nature. It's looking like love. It's looking like heart. It's looking like wisdom. That's what it's giving. Okay, six also represents improvement, reward, harmony, healing, and support. So this is a very supportive time. Maybe we need to show a lot of support, cancer, cancers. I'm speaking us, us, because we cancers. But there's a this is a really healing time for us to bring some more harmony into our lives, to receive the rewards that we know we deserve, and to actually improve. So improvement. This is the improvement era. Let's see. What's the basis? Oh, this one to jump out. Dance with life, Cancer. Life is telling you to dance with it. Do something to change your energy is what this card says. These cards are super holographic and reflective, so it's hard to see a little bit. But yeah, let's see. What's the basis? Shout out to the cancers that's watching this video right now. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. It definitely helps my channel a lot. And it also helps get the message out to other cancers and other people who could benefit from this message. So yeah, shout out to the cancers that dance too. I'm a dancing cancer. <laughs> All right, we got the basis of our message just jumped out, y'all. So life, mm, trust your path and star seed is what popped up. Trust your path showed up in reverse, speaking to that there's an imbalance in trust that we have for our path. But um, it can't say right now, if you are not trusting your path, you definitely need to. And ask yourself what lights you up, because right now, if you are not trusting your path, that's probably because you're not doing what lights you up, Cancer. So you got to do what lights you up, what fires you up, what gets you really excited about life. You are a star seed. So plant your creative energies into this earth and let it sprout. You see what I'm saying? Trust your path, though, because this card speaks to um, you knowing that you are supported throughout your journey, Cancer. Okay? Trust your path. If you knew that you were supported, what would you do? So don't let that hold you back. Stop letting stuff hold you back on your path, Cancer. Find out what lights you up and then go for it. What's at the bottom of the deck? Answer the call. So if you receive a call, you could be receiving a call within six days, six weeks, six months, because the number six showed up. So I'm going to equate it to that. But answer the call. If you do receive a phone call, you might be receiving a phone call very soon for a new opportunity or a new potential possibility to take your life to the next level, Cancer. So also ask yourself, what is your soul calling you to do? What do you really want to do? And don't be limited in your thinking, Cancer, because you could be and do anything, anything, literally. Okay, let's get into the details of this reading. All right, so let's see what's going to show up for Cancer today. I'm excited to see. All right, so we got mm, two, three. So the first row, we have the sixth chakra out of in reverse. This is your intuition, some sort of spiritual insight or connection. Something is be trying something is trying to come through to you, some information about your family, right? And adore the romance. Some sort of connection that you have with um somebody. You might be thinking that it's it's gonna be a happy, it's a happy family that's holding you together, or it's a family that's holding you together. 
but it's looking like there's going to be some sort of disconnect or there's some sort of disconnect. Yeah, deceit is at the bottom of the deck. So somebody could definitely be lying to you about something. Cancer. Uh, yeah, you might not feel supported because of that too. So let's see what else we have. Indecision, journey, and yin yang. So it's like yang, action energy. It's time to act on this love and follow your journey this journey that you are on is for your family. Don't forget, Cancer. Yeah, four plus two equals six. Okay, happy family in the journey. Like your journey, your family. This is the reason why you're on this journey. And it's like you're making a decision right now. You're really making a decision. There could have been some sort of blockage in what sort of decision to make in the past, Cancer. But now you're starting to realize it. It's like, yeah, your third chakra popped up. This is your solar plexus. This is the sun chakra. This is your gut. Trust your gut. This is also calling for you to detoxify some sort of detox so that you can bring clarity into your being. Victory is yours. Look at this. The way that that popped up, happy family journey and victory. So honestly, right now, there's some sort of victorious there's some sort of victory happening for you and your family right now on this journey, Cancer, and that's great. Um, but action is popping up, too. I see two, two, two here. We got two and then the 22 in reverse, but that adds up to six as well. And so does three and three, 33, six. So I do feel like there's some sort of action that you have to take on this journey to be a little bit more loving because the door to romance could be closed due to the fact that you are your third eye chakra is like blocked oh yeah a woman holding a coin is down here too so i do feel like it's a woman that's involved look at this 442 popping up too and that adds up to six y'all 42 i told y'all six was going to be super significant i feel like there's a woman that has some sort of money or there's some sort of woman that's looking for money. Like she wants to have your money. And you could be feeling that. Be careful though. Because this is coming up after your victory. It's a woman holding a coin in reverse. So I do want to read on all these reversals. Let's see. What does 40 say in reverse for cancer? 40 in reverse. The sixth chakra. Archangel Metatron. This card represents clarity of thought and personal vision. So there's like some sort of block in your personal vision. It's like you want to, your personal vision is to have a happy family. I definitely see that. It's like you really want your family to be happy, but you got to have the vision for it. You need to clear your mind so that you can see clearly cancer. So this card reverse admonishes you to get clear. Exactly. See, you need to get clear, Cancer. You may have been lost in confusion and had unclear or distorted thinking. But even if this state of mental chaos has been going on for quite some time, your lack of personal direction can be turned around. So take off the blinders and widen your perspective. Visualize the life you want to live and the person you want to be and make that your intention. Okay, Cancer? It's time to break out of that old toxic thought pattern, whether they be habits of worry, doubt, or self-criticism. It's also time to develop a clearer, healthier vision of how you perceive yourself and what you want your daily life to look like. Know that you are in charge of making it so. Meditate on Metatron's strong presence in your brow center and see a beautiful indigo light spinning there. Affirm that you are creating a new clarity and sense of direction. You have all the power you need to create. A strong personal vision that will guide you on your path. Make that a priority now. So yeah, your personal vision needs to get into alignment. Cancer definitely needs to get in alignment with how you want to see yourself. How do you see yourself? How do you perceive yourself? Because there's a happy family card right here showing up for you because I do feel like this is past energy though. In the past, you had a hard time um, seeing what it is that you wanted to be doing personally, but you followed your gut, Cancer. Oh, you followed your gut and now you are here about to receive this happy 
time for you and your family throughout this journey that you've been on. Um, and you are making a decision to not go back to the past, right? And that's victorious for you. So when this is popping up in reverse, though, the door to romance in reverse speaks to... Um, it's really... Well, first of all, this card really means new beginnings and love. But when it's in reverse, it can indicate that it's a delay or a disappointment where love is concerned. In a present relationship, it could also be a sign of distance or separation. So you could be separating from someone. It could be a woman. Like I said, it could be a money-hungry woman in your life. Um, you definitely got to take action, though, because... Yeah, this person could definitely be in for, for your money. Um, and that's it. Like, they don't really care about you. They just want your money. For some, the door to love may seem to have been shut for a long time, but the energetic universe is always in a state of flow and flux. Knowing this, you can work on making changes in your daily life that will bring more love into your experience, right? So remember to make yourself and your, your own happiness a priority. So it's like, Cancer, make sure that you... The door to romance is about you. It's not about others. First and foremost, you have to be able to have access to your own heart before you try to give it to other people, right? And then also when you do have access to your heart, for real, you know who is really going to take care of it and who won't based off how they how they handle their heart. So yeah, remember to make yourself and your own happiness a priority, Cancer, and encourage yourself and always acknowledge how valuable and deserving you are of receiving your own love and that of others, right? Because you deserve love from others too, Cancer, period. Because you are such a loving person, a being, all right? So yeah, you deserve that love for yourself and from others. Such choices in your attitude and self-treatment will shift any old energies of self-dismissal, right? Stop dismissing yourself. Make those choices to acknowledge you, you, okay? Changing your core consciousness and all that you attract. So tell the universe you're ready for real love because you're finally willing to give it to yourself. Yes. So when you are truly willing and ready to give it to yourself, the love that you really want to receive, you got to be able to give it to yourself, Cancer first before you can expect somebody else to try to give it to you but um 22 in reverse speaks to passive oh no it's like when it's in reverse it's like being i think intuitive and logical or lacking some sort of intuition but this card in reverse reveals the yang cycle which is one of active outgoing energy yes it's time to get out that's why it's lining up with your decision to go on your journey get out there cancer okay it's your time this time calls for a more logical approach to things, but the logic needs to be applied to purposeful action. So make sure that you are doing something that has purpose, Cancer. Your action has to be um, foundation and purpose. <clears throat> this cycle is often marked by creativity and new beginnings, sometimes with significant outer change. Let yourself apply more forceful energy to the task at hand and take advantage of this highly charged yang time. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's like... This victory is yours, but I do see some something that you have to overcome here with this woman holding a coin in reverse. Let's read on that. The woman holding a coin. It's like female connection and money, health, or value. That's what this card represents. But when it's in reverse, it can indicate that you're feeling unsure or fearful about finances or some health issues. So if you're a female cancer right now, you might be worrying about your finances and stop please because the more you worry about it the longer it takes to improve so it could also reveal a lack of value for yourself in your own life also that could be affecting your money situation if you are so wrapped up on money being your main source of value or what determines your value cancer because it's not what determines your value but if you are uh not valuing yourself if there's some sort of self if there's some sort of lack of self-value, then that is also going to be showing up in your financial situation. So pointing to someone else when this card comes in reverse, it shows a woman who may be reducing your own money or simply may not have your best interests in mind regarding your financial affairs. So like I was saying, it could be a woman that is getting in the way of you receiving money. She could be bad mouthed in. Or um, really somebody that you are romantically tied to that is not 
that doesn't love themselves and it could be toxic for you in the relationship because if a person doesn't love themselves then that's going to rub off on you as well so be aware of that this woman holding a coin could definitely be getting in the way of your finances or um they just don't have the best interest for you it could be someone who devalues you or criticizes you or causes you to doubt your own value it could even be that the harmful energies of a woman from the past are still influencing you today like someone from the past like a mom or um Oh, some sort of woman figure in the past that just did you wrong, that didn't value you enough, could still be affecting you today. So be aware that you don't let anyone else's negative vibration influence you at any time. Release any toxic connection and know that you are free to define your um, your own value, okay? No matter what, Cancer. No matter what. Never let nobody determine your value but you. And remove these people. That's what it's giving right now. It's some sort of action that you need to take on this journey. Open your eyes, Cancer. Trust your path, but open your eyes to your personal vision and how you want to see yourself. Because your family is definitely on the line. Your happy family is on the line. If you don't fix that, you could definitely risk a future of, of disconnection or lack of love. For yourself because you don't have enough time or energy or you're not putting enough time and energy into personally visualizing your life you are worthy enough to do that take some time out of your life to do that it'll definitely open you up to a new level of love for yourself um, make the decision this is what this card is letting you know make the decision to see yourself differently the way that you want to be seen in this world and don't be afraid to step out into your journey cancer because we have to move we have to move the yang is showing up here as action oriented outgoing energy it's time to get up and move especially if you want this loving connection to shift if you don't move cancer and don't take action um, that could be blocking that door to romance for you. Also, follow your gut. Whatever it is that you truly want to do, you should be making sure that you do that, all right? Because this card speaks to emotions of desire. There's something that you really want in life and life force energy, okay? So this is your solar plexus showing up. There's some sort of victory. You want this victory and it's coming to you as long as you move along on your journey and don't let women or female, feminine energies, greedy, money-hungry energies, people who don't really have your best interests get in the way of your future. No, we're not having that at all. At the bottom of the deck is deceit, though. Like I said, somebody could really be trying to deceive you right now, so be on the lookout. But you're not going to let that create no anxiety within you, right? Just have patience. I definitely see that. Definitely have patience and get some rest and rejuvenate, okay? I definitely see that... There's some sort of deceit. Somebody is definitely trying to deceive you, but you're not, you're not here for it. You're not going to fall into that trap. Just be patient and get you some rest. All right, Cancer, love you so much. Thank you for coming to this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you want to have a conversation with me. I definitely encourage you guys to engage with these videos because, yeah, they definitely help get them out to more people when you do. And I really do just appreciate all of your support endlessly. I love you so much, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.